All right, I'm setting up my Tormach uh, Superfly fly cutter diameter right now. The uh, cutting diameter I want to set is uh, the diameter that it cuts right to this corner. So here's the primary cutting edge, and then there's a flat surface at the bottom. And it's an intersection of those two that I want to set the diameter. So the diameter that I want is a little over uh, two and a half inches. So uh, my goal is to be able to cut two and a half inch wide uh, paths without having any material left on either side if I have two and a half inch wide stock. So that's the, uh, that's the plan. So the way I did it, at least uh, I'm doing it so far, is I have a piece of scrap aluminum that I've uh, plunged the uh, cutter down into. Uh, I, I use the term plunge rather loosely here. But basically what I did was uh, dropped it in two thousandths at a time until I felt like I had enough of a depth there. And I'm using the points on the, the uh, caliper to measure where the corner is from here to there. It's not a, uh, it's not a super specific pro process, but it's one that seems to work well enough. So basically, measure from side to side. Of course, uh, I'm checking for the fit as I swing it back and forth to get the, uh, to the best feel of it and make sure that the tip of the tool is down in the corner. So that's essentially my method. I'm sitting at about 2.67 right now. I really want about 2.55 or something along those lines. So that's where I'm headed. And I have made two cuts and I'm about to make another adjustment. All right, I've got the tool running sitting just above the material and I'm going to advance it down 2,000 at a time until I make contact. So on the third attempt, I'm sitting at about uh, 2.563, a little bit bigger than I really want. I don't know that it's worthwhile to keep adjusting it, but that's basically the method.